Welcome to our lecture online. It is hard to imagine when you look at the incredible panoramic pictures that we received from the spacecraft that have landed on the surface of Mars and that have traveled many miles on the surface taking these incredible pictures. It's just incredible to imagine that once upon a time Mars probably looked a lot like the Earth does today. Earth has oceans and has clouds and atmosphere and rain and rivers and lakes, but those things probably were available and in existence on Mars as well. Of course, the main item that you need for liquid water is enough atmospheric pressure. And the atmospheric pressure on Mars is so low today that there's no way that liquid water can exist on the surface for any length of time because the moment you pour water on the surface, it begins to evaporate. And it doesn't take long for that to complete, and so no liquid water would be visible on the surface. But once upon a time, there was an ocean covering a vast section of the planet. We had rivers and lakes and water and rain, very much like what we see today on the Earth. So what happened? And that's the key. We do know that once upon a time, we had snow, ice, rain, a hydrological cycle, anything you can imagine necessary for life. The question is, did that, uh, did that environment exist long enough for life to actually evolve. Did the same thing happen on Mars that happened on the Earth? So the question is not just did Mars have water and liquid water on the surface, because that of course is still being investigated by many of the experiments that they're doing on Mars and many of the investigations and all the data coming back. Of course by now I think there's very few scientists that would doubt that Mars once upon a time was a wet planet. But the bigger question may be, was that condition there long enough for life to actually evolve, for life to begin on the surface and to be present? So along, along the attempt to look for evidence that life, that the water existed on the surface, we're also looking for the potential that life exists. Is there any remnant left? Is there any fossilized life that we can find that would indicate that, yes, we weren't the only ones in the universe to exist outside the Earth? So Mars did indeed have a wet, a wet environment. We have some remnants of that left. We have the polar caps, the northern polar cap and the southern polar cap, which appear to have quite a bit of ice, water ice still locked within them, so much so that if you were to melt all the ice of the polar caps, the planet would be covered by 11 meters of water. So there's a lot of water still in the polar caps. And to think of that, how would that, of course, be there if there wasn't the kind of environment that we currently have on the Earth? So we'll go and look for more of that evidence throughout the, the search of the next so many videos, but it's already pretty well a done deal. Everything that's come back from the rovers and from the investigation of the data, it's pretty clear that yes, Mars did indeed have an environment. And so, first of all, did life exist on Mars? Does life still exist there? Probably not, but you never know. And what happened to Mars? Why is it that it had such an environment then and now it's just an unimaginable dry desert pretty well everywhere you look today? So we'll figure that out. We'll get all that information to you. So stay tuned and we'll get more of the videos coming. So do you think uh, as long as there's liquid water or water of some sort, as long as the, um, the elements are not too extreme or the atmosphere is not too extreme, Life is going to for sure form. So will life form just because there's water? And if the conditions are just not too far in the extreme, the answer is probably yes. If you have liquid water, you have temperatures that are somewhere in the neighborhood of above freezing and below boiling, and you have protection from the solar wind because of the magnetic field and all the other things that you require for life, it would be hard to imagine that life will not come about in a place like that. That's the assumption with Mars. If the conditions were just right, now of course Mars being further away from the Sun than the Earth, and the Sun not being quite as warm in the past as it is today, it's, you know, it's probably a more difficult place for life to come about. But if liquid water existed, an atmosphere and protection from the elements, it's a good chance. So we're, that's why we're looking for it. <laughs> the definition of life, yeah, that's probably anything that's not 
a rock and that actually moves and, re and reproduces and all that would be considered life. So we're probably looking at very small uh, primitive life forms. We're not looking for Martians flying around in flying saucers. <laughs> We're not looking for the creatures from the, the War of the Worlds. <laughs> no, 